Welcome to Chellington Farm Extended Edition. This is the new version of Chellington Farm and we are going to be starting from episode one and we're going to be continuing on from where we left off on the first version but only with the more updated map with lots more detail and it should be lots better. Now I know a few of you were a bit unhappy that I had, well that I was moving on without doing anything at all with the silage bales in field number 18. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, 18. With the castle ruining. Well, don't worry, because what I've done is I've transferred the vehicle's XML file so everything is in exactly the same place as where we left off. So it should be just like resuming, but only with an updated version of the map. Um, I haven't been down to see the silage bales, so I don't know if they're there, but hopefully uh, they are, because I, I, I think they do appear in the XML file for the vehicles, so... We'll have to head down there and just check. Uh, we'll probably go in one of these tractors, probably this class. It seems to be the most accessible. Uh, so yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that they are there. Now, I think it would probably be a good idea to actually take a trailer down there as well. Because I would like to bring some back. Because today, we're going to be doing some animal work. Which is something I've really been neglecting here. So, um, yes, let's just... Uh, Make sure my steering wheel is enabled first. Yeah, that would help. One second. Right, right, we'll try again. We should actually be able to move this time. There we go. Kind of foolish of me. But, yes, we need a trailer. And I'm just trying to think of the best one to take. Uh, I'm thinking we should probably use a loader. I don't want to be unrealistic here. So, did I buy one for the IT runner? I think I did. Yes, it's right at the back. It would be. Not to worry. What we'll do... Uh, it's okay. We can actually take it in from this way. We'll put the trailer back on again. That's pointless taking it off. And we'll have a bit of a shunt around. Looks like in the end we're going to be taking the Massey Ferguson. They're not the class, but... They're still both good, very, very good mods. So, doesn't matter. We'll have to take the tipper off and put that trailer on. I don't know how good that trailer is for round bales. I've never used it for round. I've only used it for square. Uh, but it should be okay. Can't see why it'd be too bad. All of the official DLCs seem pretty good. Now, I was warned that with the real terrain mod, um, any tractors with the plow spec enable on them may have issues. Uh, so, we may encounter a problem. If we do, we might have to do a bit of adjusting of the mods, but hopefully we'll be able to get away with it. That's that one. I guess it would help if I lined up properly first. There we go. And we'll put that one on. I think the IT Runner is a very, very handy DLC to have. Because you don't even have to take the trailer off. It's, it's kind of a lazy, a lazy thing because you don't even have to unhook. Just attach onto another trailer type or whatever they call What are they called? Attachments? Uh, so that is our trailer. Our loader, telehandler, is down at the silage, so we'll have to take that through another way. Uh, but if you've not seen my first look video, you won't have seen that we have actually got a much bigger road network now. Before we used to just have that little bit in the middle, the map in the middle, uh, but now we've got these outer roads as well, so it makes it a lot easier to get around, and I'm told that the bridge down here has now got a collision on it so it means that we can no longer bring our combine or you know big cultivators and stuff down here unless it's been raised i haven't actually been underneath it yet we'll have to have a look uh, but if it's got a collision on we'll have to be very careful about what we take under here and i think it i think it's oh that is still a bit tight okay so what we'll have to do 
is go a different way, but in a way that is quite good because we need to go past the silage cell point anyway because we have got to pick up our loader. Just notice that field has already got a crop in it. It's very golden wheat by the look of it, although I haven't really compared the crop, so it could be barley. Uh, we can have a look though. Oh no, it is wheat. You can see on the mini-map, it's a lighter colour. And I will just confirm it there. Otherwise it's going to be very embarrassing. Okay, it's barley. Forget that then. <laughs> oh, good start. It's definitely barley. So, yeah, we'll turn right at the end of here. Continue down the road. And until we get to where we were in the last episode of Challenge and Farm version 1. Here we are. Oh, this is very different. I haven't been here yet. Uh, I can see it's been divided into sort of grains and livestock. So this is where you're selling your, your um, well, your grain and your silage, basically. And also that's where you sell your animals. Nice little setup. It's a good job it's a similar layout, otherwise my machines would have spawned inside a building. That was very lucky. Now what we're going to have to do is take the bucket off. I don't think we'll take the bucket with us. We'll probably leave it here for now. And we will buy a wrapped bale grab on the way past because we're going to be going a, a right loop of the uh, map here. All the way down to the store and then continue around to field number 18. So we're basically doing a loop of the inner circle there. Um, you know, the inner, inner road network of the map. Uh, so let's see if follow me mod works here because I'm having trouble with the other map, Melbury State. But I'm told by other people that they're having no problem at all. So I'm probably just on a really dated version of follow me. That's probably what it is. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to go over the Waybridge anymore if you want to leave. Because before you had to go over it, you had no choice. Good to see that. Ah, it does work. Fantastic. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's not working on Melbourne State for me. I'm sure it's nothing. I'll have to look into it a little bit harder than I have done. So that's where you take your milk to. That is... what is that? Let's just have a look here. Turning from stores. Oh, is that where you buy your equipment from? Was that your trees? Oh, it's your trees. Okay, so that is your tree saplings. This is your milk cell point. This is your grain cell point. Obviously, your silage is back there with the anaerobic digesters, and here are the auctions. So, nice little complex. It is a good little place to be. Lots of money to be had here, if you've got the produce. Which we will have, because we're going to be working harder uh, at doing animals. Haven't really put much effort into them yet, so this time is our time. Nice opening in the road, no traffic means the loader can pull out without having to crash. Now I mustn't miss the turning here. Yeah, I think that's the wood cell point, possibly the wood chip cell point. So this is where we're going to be. I'll have to swap over. Just turn it off there into our store and we want to get telehandler and wrapped bale handler I do agree that it would have been a real shame if we had lost all of those bales because it took me three episodes just to do them and that would be a real waste if we couldn't do anything with them at all. Uh, so if these are all here, all these bales, that is really good news. Whoops. There we go.
Okay, I'm in the loader because I know that sometimes if you set the loader up off behind the tractor and there isn't too much space, it can sometimes do that driving around in circles thing. I know it crashes. So that's why I'm in this. Luckily the tractor has managed to pull out in front of the car, so we've had no accidents there. Uh, it should be all okay now. Providing I stay on the road and don't keep swerving onto the other side where it can go into oncoming traffic. Um, Yes, if you want to see a tour of this map, I have already done a video a few weeks ago. It wasn't the finished version, so there are a few little things which have been corrected since, I believe. Uh, but it still gives you a pretty good idea of how good this map is. So, just either go on my videos, and you should see it a couple of weeks ago. It would be called The First Look for Chellington. Um, and if you don't find it there, just type it in. Type in Chellington Extended First Look and you should find it. So here is the moment of truth, we should be able to see a load of white bales over there uh, it's not looking too good not looking too good at all if there aren't any we'll have to do them again but look at that! Must have been hidden behind a tree. They're all there. They're a bit, you know, collapsed. They've fallen down a bit, but they are there. That is good news. I'm happy now. That would have been disappointing. I was getting a bit nervous and I was thinking, oh, I've started this video and I've got everything ready to go move all these bales. And at the end of all this, there's not even going to be a bale there. But thankfully there is, and there's one even here on the road. Ooh, lag. That is lucky. And the gate's even open for us. So I'll position this where I want the tractor to park. And I would say about here. And I would have thought. That's weird. grass is turning yellow where I'm driving. Is it because it's crushing it or something? I'm not sure. I've never seen that before. Right. So, we have now got our trailer. We've now got our loader. And we've also got our bales. Let me just change the setting for the uh, course play. Okay. So now the course play won't open while we're trying to use the implement. Now, I think I should probably start with this lot up here. As it seems to have collapsed. I'm not sure why it's done that, because it actually did that before I changed maps. It did it on the other version. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate, really. I don't know why it did it. I guess they spawned on top of each other or something. I don't know if any of you have been watching, I, I would assume quite a lot of people have, I think it's quite a popular program, but the Harvest 2015 program, uh, where they're going around the UK, they've split it into three different sections, and they're basically looking at all the different crops, seeing how the harvest is going, uh, but I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's finished now, I'm not, I'm not sure if it has or not, don't hold me to that, but it, there's definitely been three episodes. It would make sense for there to be three episodes, as there's three different sections they've done. But they did the east on the first night, east of the UK. And then they did the north, and I think they're doing south, west, south, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't actually looked into the next episode. Because uh, I'm obviously recording this the day before I release it, so it's actually not aired yet. But yeah, it was an interesting program. You should, uh, I think you can catch up on, uh, you know, the... Uh, I think it's iPlayer, I think it's BBC. Definitely worth looking at. Now please excuse my bale stacking skills, they're really bad. Round bales are actually, I'm, I'm pretty good at the square bales. 
probably should have pushed that further. Now this is obviously silage, so I don't know if we'll be actually using it today because we haven't got any straw. Oh no, we have. I think we do have straw. You know, it's been so long since we did them. I've totally forgotten what we actually have. We'll have to see, but I would like to do a mixed ration for the cows, but you know, I just can't remember what we've done. I did do hay bales, I'm sure, and I did straw bales, so yeah, we should be able to do a mixed ration today. It's a shame they're all knocked over like this. It does make it more difficult. That makes it even more difficult. I'm only going to put one layer on this trailer because I don't think we're going to need that many to start off with. I just can't wait for that new Cytex steering wheel because, you know, uh, although I've got used to the mouse control, it just is not as realistic to use as a joystick for this loader. Oh, I've messed that up. Ah, uh, not going too well this. There we go. Okay, I'll try and squeeze two more on, and then we will take this up to the yard. Uh, what road are we going to take though? I'm not too sure. We would be okay with this trailer if we didn't have those big spikes on the back, but I don't know how you retract them if you can retract them at all. So, we may have to go the long way around, because I can't even squeeze underneath it. Seems a bit of a shame, but, you know... You have these low bridges in real life, so it's all good. Almost knocking that off, I don't know if I should actually risk putting another bale on. We don't really need more bales because we don't even have that many animals. And I should have improved my stacking skills by now. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. Don't want to push my luck too much. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to take the loader back as well, because we need this to unload it. So back into our Massey Ferguson, and let's just check the road map. There is a road which diverts just before the bridge to the left. I don't know if it's got any low bridges either, but it looks like it comes back up at the top road so we'll have to try it even if it is not a way which we can go at least it shows everyone a different part of the map which is new because it wasn't there in the original version must be careful not to knock all these off on this bumpy track as well looks like another one's rolled out that must have been when I knocked the stack over we sh should have cleaned them up first really Next time, that's a priority. I don't seem to be having any trouble so far with the steering on the tractor. So, as long as I don't speak too soon, we should be okay. Now, I don't know where the turning for this road is exactly, but I think it's before the bridge. If it's not before the bridge, we've had it. Because if we go over the bridge, we're at the bridge which we get stuck on. Lots of bridges. So it should be somewhere here on the left. Yeah, there it is. Now 
Now, hopefully this goes over the river and not under it. This is all new. Might even have to get out of the tractor and have a good look over the view. Over the bridge. Look at this. Over the train line. With our bales. Which is still in place. Look at that. Oh, don't want to jump over. Let's see what's over here. Yep. Just so realistic that. Looks great. Love it. We'll continue our journey back to the yard. I don't even know if we can cut across here. Because this is our land. Does that go... Does that go back round into our yard? I don't know. We'll have to have a look here. New squeaky gate. just stopped just before the fence and I just got the loader in didn't really plan that too well okay so where are we this is all new this I missed in my tour video I'm probably going to be going around in circles, but I don't know. We shouldn't be too far off. I think I'm on the right track here. I noticed that the load is not actually following us anymore. I think I must have reversed into it. Yeah, this is all, all new. Those are our bales there, I think. I think they are. We did put... Yes, they are. I took a layer away and sold them. And yes, we've appeared in the right place. So, we need to find a good storage place for these. Now, I don't know if there's been any new sheds put in around the cows, which is down there. Or if we just have to put them up here. Uh, I guess they don't even have to be undercover, because they are silage bales at the end of the day, so... They may be okay. I don't really want to clutter this place up too much. I think we'll probably put it in the shed up there. I think. So we'll go and get the telehandler again. There's just more space to manoeuvre when unloading the bales. There was also a shed through there actually. What's this then? Wood chips. Wood chips. <laughs> I could have just read the sign first. Yeah, I think we'll put it up here. Why have I got stuck? Weird. Oh, I know what I've done. I've, I've hit the collision for the hedge. So, yes, we'll put it in here just in there I will position the tractor in a better place so we can actually just spin round, grab a bale put it into storage there is a wheel in there a tyre or something try and do it from in cab And then we get to see the amazing stacking skills again.
try and keep it as neat as possible. And try not to puncture the bale. You know, I reckon the reason why I suddenly get these lag spikes after it being totally smooth is because I am running out of hard drive space. I've got a terabyte and I've almost filled it. Um, I could do a clear out or I could get another one. I think I probably prefer to just do a clear out, but how much I can clear out is... I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. So if I can't clear enough out, I have to get a new one as well as it. Maybe get a, a two terabyte one and transfer all of this stuff over and then wipe the other hard drive clean. I don't know. I don't know the way best way of doing it. I'm hoping I can just clean it out though. Get rid of all the rubbish I don't need. And so far, so good. Far from professional though. That's for sure. Well, I've seen worse. I've definitely done worse in the past, but I've, I'd say I've probably done a bit better before. But it gets the job done. Yeah, look at the space I've put between them. Not so good. Anyway, that is our last one. So we'll just drop that there. Turn the telehandler off. Uh, jump back in the Massey Ferguson. Got a bit of a drive up to the top. Nice steady drive up the yard. And see if we can find our hay bales. Because I, I'm did, I did do some. Definitely. In field 20. Where I put them though? I don't know. They must be up here. In here. No. Wow, it's uh, surprising how I've forgotten. I'm going to have to look back in my video where I did it. I can't believe I've actually forgotten. They're probably staring me in the face. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, there they are. They were, they are right next to me the whole time. So... We've got the hay, we've got the straw, and we've got the silage, which means we can do a mixed ration. Um, but first we actually need to get animals, which would really help. So we'll turn the engine off, we will have a bit of a, a run over to the cows, which is just down here. Um, first thing, making sure we don't actually own it. No, we don't. So we have a million pounds give or take, um, to play with, which is plenty. So I'm going to sit here, pressing enter, purchasing animals until we get to 100. So see you in a few minutes. 97, 98, 99, 100. Good, so we now have lots of cows, 100 to be precise. We also have a lot less money, but still plenty to go at. Um, so what we're going to do at the beginning of the next episode is do our silage mix, our mixed ration mix, and uh, give these cows plenty of food. We'll also have to give them some straw. Although there is straw down, I don't think that is like, you know, straw which is what you put down. I don't think it's actually used. Uh, no, zero. So we'll have to give them water. We'll have to give them mixed ration. We could give them silage, because we've got that as well. Um, and then that'll obviously produce the liquid manure and manure, and hopefully get the productivity way up high. Then we'll work on the sheep, and then the chickens, which obviously won't take too much, but we do have to give them now water and wheat in this version. So um, instead of them being totally dependent on themselves, we actually do have to do something for them um, to get their productivity a little bit higher. So that is it, and we will continue next time. But until next time, Thanks for watching and bye for now.